Hello everyone. In the world that we live in and the kind of profession that I am in, uh, on an average I get about three to four people a week who come to me and say that, you know what, I have anger issues. Could you help me manage my anger well? And I tend to think, do we need to manage anger or do we need to express it? I don't know. I think if we look at expressing anger, that might just make a little more sense than managing anger. Go back to being a child and recall those memories when you expressed your anger, typically to a parent or to a teacher. And what happens after that? Right, you got punished for it. And when you got punished, as smart as we are up here, we realized it's not a good idea to express our anger. So what's a better idea? Keep it inside of you. And then it comes out in the form of a disease, of greater dissatisfaction with life, or you know, in the form of unfulfilling relationships. Anger is a basic emotion of a human being. How could it be wrong? We don't manage happiness. We don't manage joy. We don't even manage grief. We go through the cycle of grief. Why do we need to manage anger? If you dig a little deeper, you will see that anger never comes alone. It's never lonely. It always travels with a partner in the form of either emotions or a goal. Usually people who are perfectionists in their attitude at least tend to get angry. Or if you observe your anger next time you begin to get angry, you would see it comes with a little bit of disappointment or some bit of frustration. It never travels alone. Basically what anger is telling you is that I want something that I'm not getting. That is the sole expression that anger will have. And if you look at it, if we don't have anger, we will not be able to achieve our goals. It's only a little bit of anger mixed with perseverance, with persistence, with creativity that we get to our goals. Also, if you are able to communicate that anger to the other person, not in the form of being violent, but really looking inside, observing your own anger and talking about it, you will know that it is not an emotion that disconnects, that separates people. On the contrary, it is an emotion that binds people together, that brings them closer. Look at your own life. Look at when a friend got angry or you got angry with a friend. When you went ahead and spoke about your anger and told him or her what made you angry, you perhaps came closer after that. So next time, when you get angry, look at yourself. So remember, anger is not a negative emotion at all. It is actually an energy, an energy that one's built up to go after things or to express what one wants.